Welcome back to Transport Fever 2, guys. Oh, this is rough. We are making money. We are making money. You can see we are making money if we look at the chart. Uh, I spent a lot of money there. But other than that, we, we are making money almost every year. And making decent money. But not great money. And, I mean... If a train is not running cargo both ways, it's not making money. That's just the way it is. Take a look at our uh, cargo line down here, running uh, crude from Sacramento South here up to San Antonio South and just doing that over and over. That's all it's doing. It's running full that way, empty that way. And it's not, it's not making money. Well, sometimes it's making money, you can see, but most of the time it's not making money. And it basically comes out to be a slight loss. So having trains running cargo in one direction only is not viable. It's just not viable. So even though I would love to do more San Antonio, Sacramento, Grand Prairie stuff, and, and New York stuff. We really can't right now. We we just uh, that there's no opportunity to make money there, and right now everything is about making money because a single line that doesn't make money is it can ruin us. It can ruin us. So what we're going to do today is we have well we have a um wool production down here we have a forest down here so we're going to run logs up past this tool production up to this providence sawmill not using this tool production but taking the logs all the way back to this sawmill and then picking up more logs and that's the plan. So that we're basically bypassing this tool plant, which is a uh, tool factory, which is much closer, but it won't make us money. It won't make us money if we draw up our planks off there. We have to bring them back to where, to close to the forest. And Jackson wants tools. It wants 52 tools, it's not a lot, but Providence wants 73 tools. So I think we can make a very profitable line out of this and potentially have a, a uh, tool delivery line going to both of them. And at the same time, of course, hooking up the towns by train so that we can potentially get a uh, passenger line going. And Detroit wants tools as well. Not a lot, but it wants some. So that is a possibility. But to start with, we're going with Jackson and then I think maybe a truck line going back and forth to pick up tool, tools in Jackson to deliver to, uh, to Providence. Yeah. And if we can find something to bring back down this way, like food or something, that would be good. So that our tool line can bring stuff back this way. Okay, does want food. Not a lot, though. But anyway, uh, let's get started. The terrain isn't ideal there are some some uh, some mountains in the way but I think we can make it we do have seven million in the bank and we have no loan so we have 17 million to work with that should be enough to get this done so let's set up some train stations uh, not passenger cargo and we just need one here 
And I think we're going to get a new train relatively soon. So I am going to go a little bit crazy and go with a 240 meter. Um, that's... Uh, it's nuts. It's nuts. And we might go through with a tunnel here. It's going to be expensive, guys. It's going to be expensive. Uh, I kind of like you to be like... Uh, so where where do we want this train station? I think we want it over on this side. Let's start by making that. And we really just need one. Uh, platform right now. We kind of want it to be on the other side. But. I, I, I will go a little bit crazy here and, and, and spend some money that I maybe don't have to, but in anticip anticipation of making money off it later. So we'll put you in there. And then we'll put you in... Um, where are we going? We're not going that way. We're going that way. Okay. So we want to go in something like this. Let's put you in there. Okay. And we want you in here. And I'm not letting the game run right now because I don't want uh, I don't want an industry that I'm hooking up to to disappear. That's the main reason. So let's put you in there. You do connect to that, right? Yes, and you do connect to that, right? Yes. Okay. Then we need up here in Jackson, we need a station. So where is the... Okay, so they want tools down here. So... I don't really want to... We'll lose that house, so we'll do that. And then... We can bulldoze that. And we need you. And I don't really want to go that way. I want kind of want to go this way. I think. Yeah, I kind of want to go this way. And we'll tunnel under this. That's going to be expensive. But that's what we're doing. So you hook in there. And you basically connect to all of the stuff that wants tools. Not all of it. So we'll probably set up a little truck line, but we'll see. Okay. Last. last station for now at least let's turn around and see where we want to go i think going straight out from here is fine so something like something like that i think we'll do nicely okay So, tracks. We're gonna want more than one tra train on this. That's for sure. Uh, do we want to start down here and see if we maybe can come up here and save the tunnel? Because if we... If we do this, it'll cost... Eh, it's not too bad, actually. 
935,000. Okay. But we will start down here anyway. I think we will build that tunnel. That really isn't too bad. A million? I think that's pretty reasonable. It's a pretty long tunnel, but I'm okay with it. And then we need to come in there, but we need to do something. pretty good and of course we'll want to double track it uh, and you know what I think I want to do a little something something uh, I want to configure this so that we have a through track here. And then probably, yeah, we want the cargo platform over here. And do like that. Some more maintenance, I know, I know. But it is what it is. Oh, what happened there? Come on. There you go. All right. So that's the first dot, or the first step. And then we need to come down here. And here we're going to need another tunnel, I think. But let's see. We want to pick up planks take them up all the way up there and then we want to bring well the log logs take them up there and blanks bring them down here so here i want to do a bit of configuration as well uh, with uh, two tracks This might be a little bit overkill, but I think it might be worth it. It will cost a bit of money and maintenance, but I still think it might be worth it. So you, what if we just do that? Well, that looks horrible, doesn't it? Yeah. there that doesn't look too bad let's do that and then we'll get one going out there and going in there okay and then we need to come up to Jackson and I think we'll need a tunnel here. I don't know. Nah, maybe not. Actually, maybe not. Just a little incline and a little decline. And that'll be fine. this way close to the oil well there simply because I don't want to mess with the road too much 
Because I'm lazy. And because it potentially costs money, we have to rebuild it. So, can't avoid spending money. Avoid spending money. Ish. All right. Ish. Right, we're gonna take that out. And let's take that out as well. So yeah, avoid spending money if you can. If if the road annoys you, then take it out. Does that make sense? I think it does. I think it does. That looks good to me. And then we can run you all the way along. What? No? Okay. Let's just make sure we're on the right side then. Yeah, we are. All right. Do, do, do. How far can we run it now? Alongside. Just like that. Like that. We've already spent like four million but we do have the entire train line set up so that's kind of nice well, almost the entire train line because we need down here we need to fix up this and We'll make sure to make it so that we can use it for other things in the future. So that it crosses over the ways it should cross over, stuff like that. There we go. And then down here. That's actually okay. I wonder if it'll be okay on the other side. It is. Oh, well, it... It is because we didn't do it right. We did not do it right. All right. Let's try that again, shall we? Like that. And like that. Then in there, and then we need to double slip switch a couple of things, six things, three on that side and three on this side. Here we go. Beautiful. And then down here, we want to do the same thing. to do okay. that'll have to do okay whoa so and then the same on the other side Let's see we're gonna have to do that before the road so something like that I guess like that and then we can I in okay that works and then uh, double slip switches double slip switches are sexy So there we go. 
and then we need some signals signals are sexy too want one we want one there and there and then probably one in between somewhere and we want one here one way we want there we'll do the not one way ones a little bit later um then we'll put one in here one in here and let's try these waypoints out so i have a little bit of an issue with the way they have made waypoints uh, I love that they have made them because they can make uh, the trains get in touch with their musical flute and go toot. Uh, but I think it could have been done in a better way than what they have done now. Uh, and may maybe they will, who knows. Uh, but I I'll show you a little bit later in this video what I mean. Uh... But I really do think that there was a better way to do it than what they have done now. Uh, and I think it's a shame that they haven't fulfilled the potential of it. Because it has a lot of potential for fun. And right now it's a lot of potential for fun that will probably very rarely be used, I think. But there are the signals. Okay. Then we need a... Uh, I want to put in two more waypoints. Um, uh, waypoints for the toots. And we'll put one in there and we'll put one in over here. Uh, so yeah, there. I think that's fine. Uh, let's see about lines. New line. We'll go from the logs to the planks to the tools. And back again. And in Provo, which is not going to be called, we want to be on number two. No reason to cross over when we don't have to. So this will be... Uh, well, for now it'll be W, apparently. Uh, so it'll be... No, it'll be... Uh, uh, cargo uh, tool no cargo rail production tools um, okay right in Provo okay so where did it go there tools uh, pro Okay, so that's one line, and then we need another new line going from there to there, and back again. And that will be cargo, rail, delivery, uh, tools, uh, Jackson, Jack, seems reasonable. All right, and we do need a, we do need a, a thing, a thing, depot, a depot, that's the name, buildings, a depot, let's, let's put it in here, right next to the station, but I kind of like the way that looks. And 
then we can get you coming in here. Oh, and I didn't put in the one-way signals, did I? No, so we want a one-way signal here. We want a one-way signal here. We want a one-way signal here and here. And we want one-way signals down here. So one way, one way, or not one way. We want not one way signals, uh, multi-way signals is what we want. And that is what we put in. So that's good. Okay. Uh, now these lines that we put in, uh, let's take one of them. Uh, let's take the uh, tools production. Okay. And Let's see, we have Spokane, we have Pro Providence, well, yeah, so then we go up here. So here we have a waypoint, right? Then we go to Providence, and after Providence, we'll add this waypoint. And we could do the same up here with these but let's wait a second on that so i can show you what i mean uh, about I, I me thinking a, there's a better way to do things because i really really do think there is a better way to do things all right so uh, buy vehicles uh, it's a theory uh, of course, I don't know if they are actually can do it. I don't know their code, but I, I've given it a bit of thought and I think it could be done without too much of a hassle. Uh, so we have that. We'll buy you. We'll set you on cargo rail uh, production. Tools Provo. All right. So that's one. Then we'll buy another vehicle. General cargo boxcar buy. We'll put you on. Whoops! I just smacked the mic. Sorry about that. Well. Delivery Tools Jacksonville. Or Jackson, not Jacksonville. Okay. So that's that. And I actually think I want to change up the one line that we have, the production line, because we are going Spokane, Provo, Providence, Spokane, uh, uh, Provo Spokane right now, but we need two to one on the uh, logs, right? So what if we went uh, Spokane uh, Providence Spokane Providence Provo No, that doesn't work I think we'll probably set up another uh, line with another sawmill or another uh, forest instead. All right. So we have our train. Um, let's start time running and play the game. And here's our train. A beautiful train. It's the general. There are many generals, but this one is mine. So, here it comes. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take a ride on the general. And we'll see why I am complaining a little bit about the, uh, the hootin' the tootin' with the trains because 
I feel like they already have, thank you, autosave, uh, code in place to, to do things that they have not taken the opportunity to do with the uh, with Toot and the Horn. And I think it's a shame. I think it's a crying shame. So, I think here we come to a... No, that's just another signal. Did I slow it way down, or is it just really slow? Alright, doesn't matter. Um, so, we're going... Did I... No, it is on, on medium speed. Fair enough. That's just the speed. Alright, here comes uh, a thing that makes us go toot, right? Cool. We tooted. And we'll do the same thing as on the way back because there's one as well. Very nice. And the scenery is nice. Beautiful. Look at it. Alright. Let's see. This is not a tooting signal. But that's okay. And... Ooh, that was a little bit rough getting up there, but we made it. And in we come to the station. We're heading over to the right. Which is fine. There's nothing to pick up yet, of course. And then we head down to pick up the planks. You know what? I think I'll... Or not the planks, the, um, the logs. I think I'll speed it up to the fastest speed while we're in these slow trains. So here we go. But look at the terrain, guys. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I love it. I really, really do love this game. It's so beautiful. And we have a lot of logs sitting, waiting for us, which is fantastic. We do want to get on the train on this. Boom. There we go. Full load. And let's head back up to the other end and then you'll see what I mean about the, the signals unless they've fixed it in the meantime I don't know or changed it not fixed it because it's technically not a bug it's just a not an ideal way of doing things in my thing in my way of thinking so here we go we are heading up we're going on the through tracks fantastic and along we go. So soon we'll see another one of the uh, toot the horn things. Let's see. Uh, is it coming up here? No. Yeah, there it is. Toot. We tooted our horn. Fantastic. We're supposed to. It said so. There was a P. I don't know why P means toot the horn, but apparently it does. And now we're continuing up the tracks. And there's the, uh, the tools train, which of course doesn't have anything on it yet, because we haven't produced anything yet. But there was a signal, and up here... There's another signal. We're gonna go through the through tracks again. And right here we have a toot the horn signal again. But we didn't toot the horn. Because we hadn't told the line that it needed to toot the horn. But why do we need to tell to tell the line? that it needs to toot the horn 
I mean, every train that passes that point, whether no matter which line it's on, should need to toot the horn. In my opinion. So instead of having it linked to the line, I think it should be linked to to the signal. I mean, the signals already work, right? We can see that the signal goes up when a train is approaching. Uh, it triggers something so that the signal goes up and it says, yeah, you can go by. Uh, so it triggers something on itself. The, the, the signal triggers itself when a train is approaching. But why can't the signal trigger the train to go toot when the train is approaching? I feel like that should be a relatively easy thing to do. I don't know, know if I'm explaining this very well. But it feels like the signals are programmed to when a train is approaching at a certain distance, go up. And that works perfectly. They trigger themselves to go up. But so they already have some kind of trigger me mechanism in place. So and there was again, oh no we did, but we that's a fluke that it, that we did, I think. Uh, but why why doesn't the 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 toot the horn signal automatically trigger the train to toot the horn no matter which line it's on instead of you having to put waypoints on each and every single line that uses that set of rail i think that's a shame i think that's a shame wow a lot of stuff happened while we were in here uh, and we have a warning jackson provo okay that's fine um but anyway, that, that's just my two cents. I think it would be nice if if they did this on their own. So let's see. We had uh, Spokane to Providence. That's up here. Uh, and we triggered the uh, the signal here, I guess. Spokane, Providence, or was it, which signal was it that we triggered? So we, we put a signal in, so waypoint one, waypoint two, then we need after waypoint two, so we're going Spokane to Providence, then we need to add a waypoint here after that and then on the way back from Providence before number one we need to add that so that it's tooting all the way right why doesn't it just do that the train that is approaching the signal is going to toot or the waypoint I think that would make sense. I really, really do. But anyway, uh, I don't know if their code isn't geared towards that or what. Uh, that's the tools train. Where's the... You're there. Okay. So I think we can go ahead and clone you. Only we can't afford to. So let's borrow a little bit more money and manage vehicle uh, clone. Right. So now we have two trains on that line. Do we need two trains on the tool delivery line? We probably don't, right? Let's take a look at our rates and but before we do that, let's repay that half mil that we can. Because that's money saved. Uh, Alright, so let's take a look at our lines. Let's just uh, put it on the... So that they're not moving around all the time. So... Cargo... 
Braille production tools. Uh, Provo has a rate of 61, which is not great. Uh, then we have uh, delivery tools Jackson, which has a rate of 73. So we definitely need another train on the production thing. So uh, let's borrow some money. Manage vehicle loan. Borrow. Oh. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, that's delivery tools. Oh, and the game's gonna crash. Yeah, the game's gonna crash. I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and we were cloning. Oh, so yeah. Okay, so let's let the game play on a bit. And manage vehicle. And we'll clone you. So that we have three trains on this. And this train, or this line, I think I want to set to in Provo. You can uh, wait forever until fully loaded. <clears throat> Okay, so we have logs being made. We have planks being made and you are bringing up 63 logs. So that's good. And this really should turn into a very profitable line. 750,000? That's pretty good. Uh, let's repay a little bit. And so we're not wasting money. And how much did you get? 32 was not great, but better than nothing. So right now we will only be running half full down, but I want to set up delivery of logs from here. And I think I might actually use the same train line and just come in. Boom. Uh, Provo Sawmill 2 will soon be closed, it said. Is this Provo? Where's Provo Sawmill 2? There's Provo. Oh, it's that one. Okay, that's fine. You can close that one. Go ahead. Okay, so you're full, you're empty, and you've never had cargo, but you're running half full. We have you on your way down here to pick up more logs, and then we'll hook up either this forest or this forest. I think it might be this one, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Could also just be a truck line just going. I don't know what I want. Oh, a new Baldwin. 280 Baldwin. Class of 56. All right, that's nice. That's nice. You're sitting here waiting. You haven't received a delivery yet, but you will receive a delivery now. How much will around a half stack give us? 316,000, okay. That's decent, I guess. And this one was 750,000, right? So I know I'm a little bit all over the map right now. 
but it will tie together at some point. Yeah, 750,000. Okay. Yeah, new oil well in El Paso. And we have a, our first tunnel, I think. Right there. But, yeah, I, I think this could become something really good for us as well. well we did spend a lot of money, but we... How much is our loan now? Eight and a half million. So, yeah, we did spend a lot of money. But let's take a look at balances. Yeah. The delivery train is not doing well. That's to be expected. Production tools Provo is kind of in the green right now. And it is running half full one way and full the other. And only half full the shorter one. So it definitely should be making money. But it will make more money if we can deliver more logs. So I think we'll get a train line going something like this to deliver logs over here as well. And I might actually use the same train line so that we're basically delivering logs twice every time we pick up planks once with the same trains. I think that'll make sense. But it's something that we're going to have to do in the next episode because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.